this is going to be a quick video tutorial on how to bring in a photo and use a transparent layer to be able to trace that photo and how to turn down the opacity and, and what you need to do. So you're going to start with a new canvas and the first thing you want to do if you're wanting to work in layers is you're going to need your canvas to be transparent. You're going to need to be able to see through those layers. So you're going to go into your settings and you're going to pick transparent. I'm going to close that. So now you have a transparent. When you look at this, you have two layers. Both of them are empty at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to call it image. And I'm going to touch my layers to get out of that and to have my full toolbar back. Now I'm going to bring in an image and I'm going to go to my photo library and I'm going to pick this pumpkin and I don't want to um, have it go on a diagonal or anything. I want to just, I just want to expand it. So I've gotten rid of the rotate and I just with two fingers stretch that out. Now what I want to do is I want to turn this opacity down. So this little arrow right here, I'm going to touch that and it's going to show that my opacity is currently at 100%. By touching that 100%, it brings up a slider. I can, by pulling the slider down, raise and lower the opacity. So once I have it to where I think I want it um, to be able to trace my image, I'll let go of it. Now I want to start working with my drawing. I'm just going to tap anywhere to bring back again my full toolbar. Now this is in the image layer. I want to draw, I want to trace that drawing. So I'm going to go into my pen layer. And again, to bring in my full toolbar, I'm going to touch that layers again. Now, this image is a layer below the layer I'm currently working on. My pen is right here, and I want to see what size my pen is. My pen is set at 1.7. I want it a little bit smaller than that. I'm going to put it down to, to one point. And now I can begin to draw. So in order to get really into my details, again, I'm going to do an expand. And I'm going to bring it right up so I can see exactly where I'm drawing. And using my pen, I can begin to trace the outline and the elements of my drawing, of my photo. And you'll just continue this way, making adjustments to your lines, adding and deleting lines, whatever it is you want to do, until you've, you've taken the parts of the photo of the image that you wanted to draw. And what you're going to find is that I'm working in the pen layer, and you can see that I'm in the pen layer, and that's all that is in that layer at the moment. If I get out of that, I'm looking at the pen layer on top of the image layer. If I go here, I'm now looking at the pen layer, but I'm, I'm on the image layer. And if I forget and I start to draw, let's say I start to draw in here, I'm actually drawing on my image layer, and I don't want that because eventually what I want to do is I want to get rid of that image, and I'm going to delete my image layer and only be left with my pen layer. And when that happens, anything you've drawn on your image layer is going to disappear as well. So always remember to make sure which layer you're on, and when you're... I'm just going to bring us back to where we were. Always remember which layer that you're on and um, use that to move in and out of them. 
that's probably where it gets a little bit confusing sometimes for people when they're first starting out and trying to work with this. The same with if you decided that you um, wanted to add color to that, you're going to bring in yet another layer. So in order to add a layer, I'm going to go here. I've got a new layer. That layer is sitting below the pen layer, but above my image layer. I can name that and let's just say add color. This layer, I'll be adding color to it. So again, in order to get to the layer and work on the layer, I'm going to touch the layer. Now I'm going to take this orange pencil. It's the wrong color, but just for purposes of this, I'm going to expand this. And I'm going to take that orange pencil, and I'm not sure what size I've got it set at. It's at two. And the opacity is, the opacity is, we'll bring it up a little bit. So now when I go like this, I can bring that in. And let's say I'm doing it and I slip off and I want to get rid of it. I can erase that without interfering with the drawing I have on my other layer. So now I'm going to, again, go layer, and you'll see that in the add color layer, we only have the pencil that I drew. In the pen layer, we only have the black pen that I drew. And in the image layer, we just have the image. But when I go out of this, we will see all three layers combined. So at the end, when I'm finished with my drawing, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to make sure that it's the image, if the image is what I want to delete, and delete it. I'm going back here, and this is what I'm left with. So it takes a little bit of practice and getting used to always going back to um, this layers icon and um, and making sure which layer you're actually working in. So if, if I was continuing with this drawing and I wanted to go back to the pen layer, I want to make sure that because everything is going to appear, I want to make sure I know which layer that I'm I'm working in. And so that's it. It's pretty it's pretty basic.